Hi guys and welcome to Unity 3D tutorial of a maze developed using the starter asset itself. So let me show you guys how this works. So the whole idea is for him to get right on top of the cabin by going through all of the obstacles on his way. So and if you like you can also include uh, you can include something like a timer and so on and there he goes there see how beautiful that is yeah and there he goes straight to the top of the cabin once he get on top and that will be the winner there so what I'm going to do right now guys I'm going to take you guys straight into unity development environment and we put one of these very lovely tutorial together so let's do that now guys and please do subscribe to this my second channel this is Paul Omen the owner of DJ Omen channel so you all have a nice day and see you guys in the full tutorial hi guys and welcome to unity 3d tutorial of a maze this very maze is going to be developed using the starter asset itself so I'm going to double click on the starter asset for those of you that don't have a starter asset go to windows select package manager and right in there you should be able to see your starter asset okay I'm actually using the starter asset third person character right there it's about 69.72 megabyte all you need to do is select and get it imported straight onto your project area and that is it right there so I'm going to double click on that when you double click it it opens up the this the following folders in here and the one I need is a third person controller and then uh, I'm going to then double click on the scene here yeah? inside the scene you see where we have playground double click on the playground once you double click on the playground and there we go that's your playground right there okay if you want you can just click on play and let's see what you've got there we go that is your third person look at him goes all right now what we were trying to do is I want to make sure or I want to add a maze to the whole environment okay and the whole idea is for this third person to actually solve the, the solve the problem of going through the maze and head on straight to the top of this building so that is the whole idea because the whole place is going to be filled up with maze okay so that is going to be the goal for this very tutorial now so let's do that now so I'm going to make him jump all the way down there and let's exit out okay to start with the very first thing I'm going to do is just uh, you see the environment here I'm going to actually uncheck that very environment make sure it's selected and come right here you see in the inspector uncheck it and everything is gone that's what we get so what we then need is I'm going to right click up here and let's select 3d and inside that 3d I want panel and that very panel that is lying on my canvas out there I'm going to make the size about let's say 3 by 3 by 3 there we go now we do need I need a design of yeah I do need a design of a maze so I think I have one in here let's come right here inside my folder I'm going to drag this create a maze folder dump it right in there there we go I think the folder is right there now that's the folder and this is the bit that I need. I'm going to right click on it. Let's create material. I'll just call that maze. Make sure the material is selected. Go straight to the albedo. Click on the albedo or you can just drag this and dump it right in there. And that is it. Now drag that particular material and place it on your panel. And that is the material right there. 
I will now come straight to the gizmo here. Let's right click on the gizmo, select top, so that we can see what we're about to do. There we go. So, as you can see, the third person is there. Look at him right there. So, let's even run it and make sure the third person is still is still alive. He is alive anyway. As we can, you can, you guys can see that he's around somewhere. So, I'm going to exit out. Now, let's right click in here and select 3D, select a cube. That is my cube in there. I'm going to change the Z axis of that cube to about 0 0.2. Uh, that's a bit too small. 0 0.3, that's fine. Okay, that is a cube right there. So I'm going to move the cube away. That is a cube so that we can see. That is the very cube. Okay, that very cube, I'm going to kind of like extend it. You can always press R on your keyboard and just extend the cube how you want. Okay, so now that the cube is extended, let me change the gizmo and uh, let's go back to free. All right. We now want to change. Okay, move that up a little bit. Yeah, I'm now going to add the brick to it. However, since I can add the brick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now right click inside the, uh, the hierarchy here and let's create an empty game object. That very game object, I'm going to call it cube. Let's just call it cube maze. There we go. And every single cube that I intend to use will be inside the cube maze itself. There. So that's the very first cube. Now I'm now going to copy this very cube. Okay. And let's just place it around. Okay. Now let's start with the very first one here. There. Now copy that very cube. Control D. And let's drag it straight onto here. As you can see, the cube seems to be a little bit too small. Just press letter R so that we can extend it. And W. There we go. All right. Now, Control D. Let's place it somewhere there. I can see that one very much. So that's good. Now, Control D again. I think I can place that right over there, right at the back. And we're going to have to extend that. Just press R and drag it. If you don't want to press R, you can always get the symbol there. R stands for scale 2. All right, that's fine. And the movement tool, I just press. need to press W. There we go. I'm going to change the gizmo to top so that I can see what I'm what I'm actually doing. You guys can see that. You see this one here now. I'm going to copy it. Control D and change the rotation to 90 degrees. There. Let's bring it right over here and pull this down. Control D again. Let's bring it here. R to reduce the size W there and R again reduce the size a little bit a little bit more that is fine W position it properly control D copy and let's go for R now W to reduce it and R the W to move it there we go right okay I guess you guys get the whole idea so I'm gonna copy this now control D and let's move that here W increase or get it scaled right 
Now this very one here, control D W. Let's move it way over there. Let's see where is it. And do that. Yeah. Control D. Yeah, got it. I move it here. So I guess you guys get the idea now. So all I'm just doing is just designing the the maze. So that's all I'm doing. Control D. So I'm gonna to have to speed that up and get back to you guys shortly. Control D, bring this one here. There we go. So let's speed that up and I'll see you guys shortly. That is it guys, it's all done now. I'll finish up with the design of the interface. Okay, so let me just run it for you guys to see how the maze looks like. There we go, that is how it's looking. Now, there's one or two things that I need to do. If you look at this one here, the brick out there, it seems to be kind of like distorted. So I'm going to exit out. I have ordinary bricks texture that I downloaded from uh, the asset store. I'm going to go into the brick texture thing. Look at that. I'm going to apply this to that. And that is it there. 90, 190. So I can always adjust it. Let's come straight to the inspector here and just get that adjusted. Where, are, where is the tires? The tires, I can't see that. Okay, let's see if I apply this on it and see how it's gonna look like. Prefer that. All right. Okay then, so one other thing I'm gonna do is, I, pr I like this color anyway, I'm gonna right click in here, let's go to create and select material. And that very material, I am going to apply this brick to it. Let's just enter brick in there. And now we apply this brick to that material. Yeah. Hopefully I should have control fit here. That is it. So I'm going to add that to it. Then I will be able to control that in here. Let's say we have about four. Let's see how that's looking now. Yeah, but for that is looking a little bit much better than how it was. Now let's get rid of this for now. Close here. Yeah. And apply this here. Yeah, that is looking good. Let's make it maybe six or maybe eight. Yeah. No. Eight by one is fine. All right, that's good. So let's do the same thing to the other two at the far edge, right here. This one here, very good. And there should be another one here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna add it to that one as well. Right, and. I think there's one somewhere here. Yeah. All the ones that just looks a bit distorted. There should be one here. There we go. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna run it now. Run, let's see. Okay, that's how it's all looking now. So all we want him to do is to walk through the maze and navigate towards the cabin but there's one problem now it's not a problem really i just need to enable the cabin so let's exit out back into my hierarchy the hierarchy is not there for now so let's click on uh, i'm going to go back to the default area and let's just select I'm going to select maybe four, then from there I will take it to 
the default where's the default there we go now the hierarchy is back there all right so let's come back in here now and i want to enable if you guys can still recall the environment right at the beginning of this tutorial the environment was unchecked so bring it back to life there we go that is the environment back to life but before then there's something I want to do you see the the plane I'm going to uncheck that so that it's no longer visible that is done so that's lo no longer visible now the next thing is I'm going to run it I just want to show you what's going to happen with the third person we need to make sure the third person is not able to jump over the the walls so if I you see that he can jump over the walls you see that so I don't want that to happen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the third person where is he and let's come into the properties here let's look for jump there we go uh, I think jump time jump height I'm going to reduce that to let's say 0 0.3 I think that's good enough for him you shouldn't be able to jump that high anymore so let's see what's going to happen now let's go for full screen maximize play see now jump nope jump no nope. you see that he cannot go higher than that anymore okay so I think there's a way out here yeah all right that is fine now let's get the, the environment back select the environment and uncheck there we go the environment is all back now right so when we run it let's see how that's going to look like there so the whole target is for him to get right on top of this very building there okay but before i do that let's add some trees and so on so let's come in here stop that let's add some trees let's come in here there are some trees in there so i got it from um, the asset store so I'm, and we will also add some buildings as well so let's go to the scene and yeah let's add some bricks sorry some trees here that seems to be too huge we can always reduce that anyway okay yeah let's see yeah, i think that's fine all right now you see the the fog effects maybe i should get rid of the fog effect to do that you go straight to windows select windows and let's go to straight into rendering select lighting and right here i think environment yep that is the fog that was enabled i'm going to get rid of that okay so that should be gone by now now you can see it a bit clearly okay now the next thing is let's just add some more trees then um, then we can then add some more buildings and so on yeah more trees yeah that's fine and i think i do have yeah white city let's go straight into white city and get hold of some high-rise buildings yeah i think this one we do in that area that seems to be very huge move it back a little bit and let's get a hold of this yeah something like that let's change it to about 90 degrees let's see right 
Okay. Who's on? Let's add one or two more. And increase the size of that to about one by one by one. Alright. Coming up gradually. Let's turn that maybe zero. Yeah. And just copy that very one. Again. Control D. Yep. And control D again. Maybe bring that somewhere here, make it about 90. Yeah. Okay. So let's run it and just see how that looks like. I think we also need to add um, yeah, that's not too bad. Let's add yeah, skybox. Let's change the skybox. And we can just move those buildings back a little bit. Okay, let's do something with the skybox. So I'm going to go back to Windows. Uh, let's select the rendering lighting. Go straight to the environment. Inside the environment, I'm going to look for or any sky I think this one might do yeah that might do let's try this or this anyway so let's go back in here and see how that's gonna look like click on run there we go look at that look how beautiful that is yeah alright so let's see if he can navigate and go right to up to the cabin let's see if you don't know where you go you're gonna get lost yeah go right there and up you go and there we go guys look at that it's a beautiful scenery right there yeah okay guys he made it so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this very beautiful tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed it um please do subscribe to this my second channel this is paul omen the owner of uh, dj omen channel so you all have a nice day now and bye for now